Welcome to Bar and Juck in early spring. Nothing beats that tick. Now we often talk about uh, early spring yellows um, and how important the uh, the sunshine is for those guys to uh, to get biting. So you might be looking today and go, that's a pretty gloomy looking day. And so far it is looking a little bit mixed up. I am hoping that the forecast comes through um, and the sun pushes uh, pushes through those clouds. But there is a method to my madness today. And the theory is that yesterday we had an awesome, awesome spring day. It was probably the first time uh, this spring. We're only in, what is it, the 9th of September? So it's, it's early, right? But yesterday we had what is probably the warmest day we've had um, so far. Uh, it was mid-20s. It was pretty windy, but the wind was warm. And last night the cloud cover came over and seal the heat in. So this morning it was still in the teens. So it was still really, really warm overnight. So we were sort of moving out of those, those frosty mornings. And even though it is cloudy today, I'm thinking, you know what? The edges actually haven't cooled down that much overnight. If the sun does pop out, these fish are gonna fire up really, really hard here on the edges. So that's the theory anyway. That's the science behind it, as Dylan called it this morning. Uh, I am on my own today. Henry was supposed to be coming out, uh, but he's pulled up crook. So I thought, you know, I still had the idea that even though it isn't perfect today, um, yesterday's heat will actually get these fish moving along those rocky edges. So we're going to have a crack and see how we go with that. Uh, I'm going to be fishing soft vibes, curl tail grubs, blades, um, probably throw a lipless crankbait in there as well, uh, possibly a silent one, but I'll also try a rattle and just mix it up. I've got a, I'm going to run uh, three different outfits out here. They're all two to four kilo, seven foot sticks. Um, I'm running a 10 pound braid with a, an 8 or a 10 pound leader. So uh, nice and light. Uh, they are, you know, it's still early spring, they can be a little bit finicky, but there is a little bit of discoloration in the water from that wind yesterday. So hopefully their confidence is up. Um, so leader size probably won't matter too much. So I'm going to get rigged up and we're going to have a crack and see if we can find these yellows along the rocky edges. I do apologise for the wind, it is starting to pick up out here already which is going to make things not quite ideal, but if the sun comes out, I won't mind too much. As you can see, I'm just in a shirt, so it is reasonably warm. And now it's raining, so I'm going to put this camera away and get rigged up, put a jet. Well, thankfully that rain didn't last too long. i am just finished rigging up my last lure option, which is that little guy there. That's from Real Action Lures up in Queensland. So we're gonna give that one a go today. Looks like a pretty good soft vibe option. It's a good size. Let's see what his action is like, eh? Is it a real action? Most important thing, I reckon with any sort of vibe, lure, soft, hard uh, blades, is that they get vibrating on the first movement, and this one does, so. Oh yeah, he looks good. He's gonna catch a fish today. Now this is probably not the most consistent way to catch them. Um, if I was here just to catch fish, I'd probably go and fish some trees. Um, but if you can get onto the bite here uh, in early spring, when they're really chewing, it can be absolutely sensational. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that's what I get to show you today. I'm up in the Bidgee Arm. Uh, that's generally the place where the yellows start to fire first. Um, and basically that's because that's where the water is the warmest, first of all. So I'll hop uh, along all these rocky edges and try and find those warmer pockets. 
Um, unfortunately, I've got a bit of an issue with uh, with my helm sounder, so I do have the um, the live scoping up front, which is going to be a pain in the neck because it means I can't just gun and run. I'll actually have to put that into the water every time I pull up. So um, anyway, that's just the way it goes. But um, it will help me. I'll, I'll probably will, will run it while I'm fishing. I don't cast at individual fish um, when I'm chasing yellows. It's basically just sort of have it out there pointed at the bank. If I see a few fish rolling through, then I know that I'm in the right area. If there's nothing sort of rolling through, it's time to uh, to pull it up and uh, and go and run for another spot. So anyway, that's enough jibber jabber. Let's get into it. Oh, really? <laughs> Come burst it out of the water looking for it. There it is, mate. Come and get it. He spooked himself and took off. That's pretty crazy. Bit of a flatter rocky bank now. Bit of clay mixed in. Still gonna get the sun all day here. Oh, it's built too, because there's a bit of timber out there. So they can move. Out to the timber to rest and then come up on the bank to feed. Maybe. So far the edges are looking very, very quiet. Watching the line. Watching the sounder. Watching for a temperature spike. Something. Something that'll congregate them. Oh, yes, got it, got it, got it, yes. Oh, finally get a fish off the edge. And a freaking car. Time to make a move. Further up the dam. Nothing on the edges here so far. Pretty bloody excited. We've just found what I think is going to be a good edge. I'm reasonably confident because of the, uh, the warm water pushing right along here. The 
temp on the sand has come up to 16 degrees, so let's rip into them and see if we can get onto one. Finally, hopefully, we've found the edge that we've been looking for. Getting absolutely hammered by the afternoon sun, and I am actually seeing a, a few fish rolling through, so fingers crossed we're onto them. Yes, 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 yes. The tick on the drop. Yes. Finally found an edge that's going to produce. Oh, finally. Yes. Oh, nothing beats that tick. When it comes to golden perch, there is nothing better. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Check this guy out. <laughs> Woo. Oh, only a little fella, but I don't care. It's the afternoon sun. The wind's actually starting to drop. It's getting really, really warm. And uh, I think these guys are going to turn on here for... I won't have very long because the afternoon's sort of getting on a fair bit, but uh, there you go. What a beauty. Thanks, mate. Ooh. Yes. Yep, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Your beauty. How was the tick on that? Yeah, baby! <laughs> we found the edge bite. Took us all bloody day, but we found it. Yeah! How's that? Nicely backlit there. Probably too bright. That is cool. Nice little fella off the edge. See you, mate. So far, it's the black grub that's doing the damage. That's two on the grub now along the edge. I wonder if the uh, the soft vibe might be a little bit too much for them, but uh, we'll probably give that a go in a minute and see if we can get one on that as well. sure what's happening here um, I'm hoping that's not the end of it because I've only missed one more fish since those other two so not really sure what's going on I'm gonna keep poking along this bank but um, yeah I don't know one more just one more bite and I'll be happy I mentioned it wasn't gonna last long I thought it might be more than two though Go back down the other end where I've got those other two. There's actually a similar wall, it's more similar sort of bank the further along you go. Come on, yours, where are you? One more ball, one more ball. Go back down this way. Oh, that is going to be the end of the session. The sun's just about to dip over the horizon over there. Oh, I didn't think I'd get one more. Again, another little fish, but that's all right. Oh, I thought it was all over. Come here, mate. Ah, there we go. What an absolutely cracking day. We're right into the afternoon here now, and that is going to do, mate. 
Very, very cool way to fish. Oh, thanks, buddy. See you later. So that's going to be it, guys. Uh, absolutely awesome. Um, like I said earlier today, it is not the most consistent way uh, to catch a yellow belly here at Barringer, especially in early spring. It's only just the second week into September. The most consistent way is going to be fishing them out of the trees. But if you find the right bank on the right day, they can be really, really good fun. And that's what we managed to do today. The spot that I started on earlier, it might have fired this afternoon. Not too sure, obviously. I haven't had enough time to get back there and do that. You just can't get everywhere in the one day. Um, if I was clever and I really wanted to nut that out, I probably could have, once I caught the two here, shot back to that other bank and, uh, and seen if they were up there. But I know that there's a lot of fish hanging around this area on the standing trees. Um, which kind of makes sense that they would push into the banks, especially when you've had all that wind blowing against it all day, blowing that warm air across the surface. It got really, really warm this afternoon. I'm just in a shirt. Um, I probably could have even had shorts on, so uh, really fun way to do it. Um, but like I said, if it's, it's not the way that's gonna get you the most numbers, not at the moment anyway. Maybe a little bit later on in spring, um, it might be the way to go, but right now, um, it's, it's just, I do it just because it's fun, so really cool. Gonna get out of here, guys. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one.